everyone. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to set up and implement a full screen or an interstitial ad in Google Ad Manager. GAM Interstitial is a full page or full screen ad that occupies the entire viewport of the device. In AdSense, the equivalent of this is Vignette, which you can enable in AdSense Auto Ads. Now, it tends to pay very good CPMs because obviously it's more intrusive than regular ads. And of course, it's highly viewable. On the last Google webinar, they specifically mentioned that this ad format is compliant with better ad standards and the IAB. So you don't have to worry about violating policies or getting your accounts banned when you run this ad format. To start with the implementation on your Google Ad Manager account, make sure you already have Ad Exchange linked under Admin Linked Accounts. Next, we will create the ad unit that we will run as an interstitial ad. Go to Inventory Ad Units, Parent Ad Unit Top Level, give it a name. Copy for the code and for the sizes, we'll go ahead and specify 300 by 250, 320 by 480, and 336 by 280. 300 by 250 is eligible to serve on both desktop and mobile. 320 by 480 is eligible to serve across all devices. 336 by 280 is eligible to serve on both desktop and tablet. Set the target window to underscore blank so it opens on another tab when you click on the ad. Then uncheck AdSense. The rest are optional. Go ahead and click on Save. Go to Delivery Orders for the next step. Now you can either create a totally new order from scratch or you can use a pre-existing one. In this example, I'll be using a pre-existing one and I'll click New Line Item. Select Display Ad and I'll give it a name. For the line item type, select Ad Exchange and target all those three sizes we configured earlier in the ad unit. In case you have multiple ad exchange accounts linked with Ad Manager, go ahead and make sure you have the correct web property area selected in here. You can start it immediately and time unlimited. You don't have to set a frequency cap because it's automatically handled by Google and it will be served one per hour per user per domain only. And as of now, there is no way for us to change that frequency and we'll have to wait in the future if Google would change that setting. Target the specific ad unit you created for the interstitial ad format. No need to specify device category because like we mentioned earlier, these creatives will serve or will be eligible to serve depending on their size and the corresponding eligible device categories. And it's controlled by Google from the back end. Now you can go ahead and save, go to the creatives tab, and click automatically generate creative. Now, if you check the Google Publisher tag guide here for the web interstitial, you can just go ahead and simply copy from here down to the bottom. Now, what you need to change here is this one first. This will be your GAM network ID. And after that, that will be your GAM ad unit code for your interstitial ad unit. So replace those two. And the rest of the other static ads you have will go here. So replace this with your GAM network ID and the rest of the other regular ad units you have. Now let's pretend you have two other regular ads that will show up on the same page. You can just go ahead and copy this right here. So this value, your network ID and your GAM ad unit code, including their ad sizes and div ID, will basically go in here. All right, if you have more ad units, you go ahead and insert more lines in here until you have everything similar to this. All right, so it also has the line ad service Google tag pub ads after that, if you notice, right there. So it's going to appear similar to that here. And once you are done preparing all your tags in here, and by the way, this interstitial ad doesn't need a div ID in the body section. So it only needs to be defined in the header section of the page. But the rest of your static ad units, meaning the other regular ads you have, you will still need to deploy the corresponding div ID or body tags in the body section of your site's HTML. So once you're done preparing the rest or everything and replaced all the values, copy from the top right here down to the bottom right here. 
and deploy that, whether you're using WordPress, Ad Inserter, or Advanced Ads, go ahead and target that to the header section of your site's HTML. For us to test, we'll open the site, and we will click an eligible link right here. On your site, when you click an eligible link, this is how it looks like on desktop. So you see an ad serving in there, occupying the entire page or the entire viewport, and you have an X button here to exit the ad. Now to view the ad on a mobile device while using your laptop or desktop, just right click and inspect. Toggle to turn on the device toolbar right here and select the device you'd like to emulate and we'll refresh. So using a fresh incognito window, you go ahead and click any link right here. That ad overlay that you saw earlier was the overlay ad from advanced ads. So that wasn't the interstitial ad yet. Let's go ahead and click an eligible link right here. And there it is. This right here is the interstitial ad from Google Ad Manager occupying the entire space on your mobile device. And here's the exit or close button. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.